He say, she say, we say, I say Hearing out them points of views when I see it my way Yes it goes, yes it knows, maybe so's, probably not Shoulds and coulds, do's and don'ts, your woods and wants is how you rock Politicians and religions on your house or are you written? Is you married? Is you single? Met an interest when you mingle Turn out to be someone you into So how long before the bed get wrinkled? When they trippin', is it time out or do you whip them? Opinions and decisions, hunches, intuitions May form, may not get it, cause people's experience different Check the prejudice at the dope You get the flow, tell the truth if it's sweet or sour Cause the hour we spittin' that fire Hello everyone, this is Spin Fire coming to you with another one. So now we have an update on the Tasha K trial, okay? Defamation lawsuit, all right, that's going on between her and Cardi B. Okay, so once I want to give a shout out to Hip Hop Inquirer. Okay, Dennis Byron has been doing a phenomenal job reporting it. He has been so professional doing so and clear and precise. I want to congratulate that brother and thank that brother. And he's also been sharing all the information on all these platforms, uh, including his own. So make sure you go over there to Hip Hop Inquirer. If it is not in my description below or on my thread, please make sure you check it out in my community Post, as he's been giving us updates on how Tasha K has been behaving in the court. And it was said that she has been caught lying to the winos. One million winos you're lying to, Tasha? One million? Let's listen to Dennis Byron. Trying to understand Tasha's defense. As a civil trial lawyer myself, I've heard nada. Well, you heard nada. I heard nada, and guess what? She got no nada defense. It's the nada defense. And I'm just being, you know, you know, being uh, humorous, but she has no defense. In my, in my opinion, she has no defense. But I think that if they can, if the, the plaintiff can prove that what she did, shout out to uh, Mocha, Mima, shout out to Mocha Mima. Now, it was so skillful. And when I say skillful, the, the, the line of questioning on cross was so skillful. She showed the jury that this person who's been telling her subscribers that she's a journalist, the subscribers are saying, well, she's a journalist. So I'm, we know she has vetted, had a vetting process like other journalists does when they put stories out. So they prove right there in open court that she's not a journalist, nor does she use a journalistic integrity in researching and putting out stories. So she's been lying to you guys. She's been lying to her winos. And I'm sorry to tell you guys, she lied to you. But she's telling the truth in the court. She's telling the truth in the court. Oh, my God. So he said that Tasha K, when she's on a stand, she actually telling the truth. So she said that the, some of the stories, okay, he's been reporting this since all last week and all this week. And he said some of the stories she admitted to that she fabricated. It's lies, okay? She admitted that she lied on Cardi. She admitted that some of her stories are lies. It's not vetted. She, she, she admitted to all of this. Then she had threw her husband under the bus as he threw her under the bus and said he doesn't check the emails and she don't check the emails and all this type of stuff. It is crazy ridiculous. Okay. It's crazy ridiculous. And my thing is to the wino game. I don't know. I mean, you guys gave her a million winos for someone to lie to you. You know what I mean? I can understand embellishing the truth a little but or exaggerating it but flat out lying not vetting on people that's not cool but what do we, what does that say about us as a community as americans like we don't care about the truth anymore as long as it's entertaining us we don't care as i've always said the hunger games are real it is real because the americans are telling you especially black america the hunger games are real 
All right. Thank y'all for listening to Spitfire. I'm your girl, Ari Jackson.